siamo molto soddisfatti, devo dire anche questa serata qua è stata piacevole, mi ha fatto piacere che nella competizione tra il Trato Reggio e la Veneria abbia vinto la Veneria, quindi vuol dire che è stato un crescendo, quindi sono contento, sono molto soddisfatto e credo che Torino ha fatto una bellissima figura. Passaggio di testimone con Sydney, prossima volta si andrà dall'altra parte del mondo, esattamente dall'altra parte del mondo e anche lì chiaramente la delegazione torinese sarà presente attiva, darete anche qualche consiglio ai nuovi organizzatori? Mi fa piacere, mi hanno chiesto già alcuni consigli, questo mi fa molto piacere, hanno già chiesto al nostro Mastro Ceremony di poter essere lui il Mastro Ceremony, quindi hanno visto, hanno riconosciuto il buon lavoro fatto e ci stanno già ingaggiando per aiutare là, quindi è stata anche questa una bella soddisfazione. Quali sono state le armi vincenti di questo nono congresso mondiale torinese, tutto torinese? Le persone che hanno lavorato a questo, voi per primi che siete stati bravissimi, ci avete dato un'ottima copertura, devo dire poi la squadra della Camera di Commercio, la squadra del WCF, c'è stato veramente un lavoro di team, tutti molto molto bravi, persone di grandissimo valore. Torino ha vinto? Ha vinto. Successo adesso davvero possiamo dirlo, allora cosa, come è andata i punti di forza di questa Torino? I punti di forza sono la nostra città perché nei commenti di tutti eh, quello che è piaciuto di più è l'ambientazione in una città moderna ma anche storica, le nostre piazze, i nostri musei, i nostri ristoranti, i nostri alberghi, nei, nei commenti di tutti come dicevo eh, questo è stato il punto di forza, poi sicuramente un congresso ben organizzato con molti spazi punti di discussione, molti momenti di confronto, ma è l'ambientazione, lo sforzo che hanno fatto le nostre imprese per farsi conoscere in questi tre giorni che ha fatto sì che questo sia stato un congresso di grande successo. Finland goes uh, the trophy about uh, women project. Uh, could you talk about this project? Yes, we, it, it is to promote women business leaders because everywhere in the world women leaders are a minority and in our project we have mentoring, top level mentoring for women executives. We conduct studies on women leaders and we give recommendations and statements and the idea is that businesses deserve the best possible persons as leaders, not just the best men to be the leaders. We don't want legislative quotas, we want the businesses to be act active in promoting women leaders and we believe that the Chambers of Commerce should uh, participate the, in this globally. It's not the issue for politicians, it is the uh, com companies who should be actively looking for women to be part of their uh, teams. We truly believe that companies benefit from the wider, wider talent pools. Could you talk about uh, your winning project? Yes, this, is, this project is very important because uh, the project that we presented here to the World Chamber Federation is a public-private project. In other words, the Santiago Chamber of Commerce presented a project that we made together with the government of Chile. In other words, we do the procurement of all the purchases of the government through the Santiago Chamber of Commerce. And today it's 5,000 buyers of the government that send their, require, their, their requires to purchase through the Santiago Chamber. And we have today registered over 60,000 small and medium companies that today are suppliers of the government. This is an electronic system which we work through the chamber and which helps bring costs down for the government and at the same time it gives the opportunity for the medium and small companies. This is very important because let me tell you this, eight years ago the small and medium sized companies only 15% 15, 15 of the companies were suppliers of the government. Today after eight years more than 55% 
of the suppliers of the government are sm small and medium-sized companies. Not from the capital, which is Santiago, but from the north of Chile to the south of Chile, which is nearly 4,500 kilometers long, it's all different businesses, medium and small, that have the opportunity to become suppliers of the government. This is very important. It is transparency, it is clear, and especially low costs. But the most important thing for a chamber is that we give the opportunity to medium and small companies to become suppliers of the government. My project was, uh, we have started after 1999 earthquake, which was a big disaster in our area. And our uh, people and our factories got affected very badly. There was a uh, 300 increase, 300 percent increase in disabled. So we had to find some uh, solution to them. We have created an organization where we can uh, first train and then employ disabled people uh, and uh, bring them to the workforce and uh, get some, some uh, outcome from it. So our project was based on bringing first private companies and government together and somehow uh, get disabled people involved by training and back to business. So it's such a like several win-win-win uh, position for for our uh, city and today we are very happy we won the uh, competition Sydney next uh, organizing uh, town are you getting ready oh, we certainly are first of all we have to finish building our new convention center but it'll be ready in 2016 and so we've got the date chosen we've got hotel rooms reserved we're starting to talk to speakers and we're looking at great venues for our social functions. Well, I think it's very important to know that there were more than 110 countries represented here. And it's important that we are able to show to all of the countries of the world, 110 would be great, that they can, will all be welcome at our Congress. We're a, a country where, which speaks many languages. We are a, a global country with people from across the world who call Australia and Sydney home. And so we will say, just as here in Torino, everybody that comes will feel welcome. Okay. See you in uh, 2017. See you in 2017.